listen, do some work, do some work, why? Do some work, why? Do some work, why? Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Good day. World. Ah, as I take a deep breath, and welcome to another episode of the day in the life of the dog God. And y'all already know it's no days off, five, 365 days a year and seven days a week every day and damn near all day work work and more work three times and today we want to talk about the feed i'm gonna show you what i feed my dogs i i'm gonna show you what i feed my dogs and a lot of people ask me yo hey coach what what you feed you know what i'm saying what you feed your your dogs right and I've tried a few different brands over the years, right? And I've gotten a variety of results. I've had some that was heavy protein based, Taste of the Wild. It was a brand, good brand that I tried and I was noticing some loose stools, a lot of loose stools, you know, a lot of, you know, uh, waste. You know, dogs would eat it and then instantly sh it it out. You feel me? And um, I didn't like that too much. I don't. I don't like cleaning up loose stool. I like a nice, firm stool, consistent stool. And the the high protein dog foods. That's what you get. You get you get that loose stool, right? So um, before I got into uh, started using. Uh, What's that? Nu Nutri, what's that? Nutri so source? Excuse me, Nutri source? Y'all see that? Right, right. Okay, so before I got into this brand right here, I was using uh, Neutral, okay? Neutral Essentials. Um, the organic kind, you know, the good, the good stuff. Uh, and uh, that worked well with my dogs. I liked it, I liked it. Um, my feed store um, that I go to um, had this brand and, and they told us that they'll work us a deal out. And you know, it has a little bit you know, more to the ingredients than the, the, the neutral. So what, what really appeased me was the price difference, right? Based off of how many I buy and you know, buy a certain amount you get one free and you know what I mean? like. They were giving me a somewhat of a deal. You know, it's still expensive, man. You know, doing these dogs aren't cheap. Y'all know that. Taking care of these dogs, especially when you have 30 plus side, uh, like the dog guy, uh, AKA the coach. But I wanted to, um, you know, make sure that I at least had what Neutro had in the, you know, nutritional side of the ingredients. So as you see right here, uh, let's take a look right here. You can see, hold on, let me go on this side. I, I know you hear that motor and stuff. Y'all can see the ingredients. You see? See the ingredients? Okay. And I wanted to make sure that the protein was the same. You understand? I wanted to make sure that the protein was the same and it it is the same. You know what I mean? Let me see. different language uh, right here 26 it's in a different language uh, here we go oh, man. let's flip it over y'all okay here we go I wanted to make sure my protein was at that that's good enough protein right there for your performance dogs right there you don't need more, no more than that really you really don't and y'all see how conditioned my dogs are right so protein is there you know, it's got a lot of great nutrients in here in this dog food. 
And one thing I do love about this dog food is that my stools are solid, consistent, and my dogs still look good, okay? My dogs still look good. They still look, look like well-conditioned athletes, my dogs, okay? So I'm very satisfied with this dog food, and you don't have to feed them as much dog food, I've noticed too. You know, I feed my dogs portion, portions, right? And proportioned, okay? Key is portions. Sometimes we overfeed our dogs. I used to be that type. I used to let my dogs graze and eat what they want to, and they became fat, okay? Big heavyweights like the goat and the prophet. They became big heavyweights because I was using that method to let them just eat because, you know, I, I, had, I had the ability to do that. However, once I got into my conditioning regimen and I wanted to cut them up, I had to cut back on the food intake but still maintain enough weight to where, you know, their muscles pop but they don't look, you know, skinny. You understand? So, just wanted to show you what I feed my dogs. Okay, nutri source chicken and rice recipe now y'all can try the lamb and rice turkey and rice y'all can try whichever ones you want um, to see what takes better with your dogs I used to do the lamb and rice was good with the coats makes your coat nice nice and shiny um, either way my dogs coats are still shiny with the chicken and rice I do like the chicken and rice recipe um, but just try different ones um, the key for me because I breed you know I got performance dogs is that protein right there uh, Right there, that protein is very important, but I don't need any more than 26. I like that 26% right there, proteins, okay? Now, you can follow this if you want to, okay? That's recommended by the uh, brand, right? The dog food brand, you know? And, you know, they know what's up with their dog food, so you can follow that. Me, I portion my own dogs how I see, how I want the weight to be on them. Um, certain dogs burn a lot more fat than others, so you need to pay attention to that and portion according to those dogs and their metabolism, and you should be good to go. But everybody asks me, you know, because, you know, how my dogs look great. Y'all know how my dogs look. Ah, they look excellent. They're like, man, what you feed your dogs, coach? And at the end of the day, chicken and rice, okay? I'm using Nutri-Source. Before I was on Neutro, I like Neutro. Okay, okay. My main concern, because I do performance dogs, is making sure that I got at least 26% protein. Anything more than that, you're gonna have loose stool, man. It's too much protein, it's not a good thing, y'all. Don't get it twisted now. You gotta make sure it's just enough for your performance dogs, okay? Don't get it twisted, da. Don't get it twisted. All right, just letting y'all in. Uh, I got the prowler all warmed up. You know, just took care of the puppies, so now I'm about to take care of the big dogs. Um, yeah, man. Y'all know that the work, work, the more work never stops over here, man. You know, just letting y'all in to the day-to-day, -day, man. It's not easy being the dog, man. Uh, it's not easy being me, the dog guy, okay? But, you know, this is what it's about. This is what I'm showing y'all. That's why I'm doing this vlog. So y'all can see what it takes, man. You know what I mean? No smoke and mirrors, man. No, no... You know, none of all that glamour and glitz. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sell y'all no wolf tickets, man. No dreams, no pipe dreams. If you really want to do this dog man shit like the dog guy does, you want to have top tier dogs like the dog guy, you're going to have to take care of them. It costs a lot of money. It's work every day. Work, work, and more. Work three times every day. I'm telling you, it don't stop. So y'all, you know what I mean? Watch this, you know what I'm saying? This is training for y'all minds. Training for y'all mindset. If you're thinking about getting into dogs, man, watch this, man. Watch this before you do, because this is what it's all about right here. The work, God. No fun and games, no days off. Just a whole bunch of work, work, and more work three times. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on